Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome to the Makeup Mummy family. And guys, if you are new to my channel, it'll be awesome if you can hit that subscribe button and join me here at Makeup Mummy. And if you do subscribe, remember and hit that bell so it'll notify you every time I upload, which is Wednesdays, Fridays and Sundays. So I don't want you guys missing a thing. So today's video is my Holy Grail foundations. There is five to discuss and these are the foundations that I use on the daily. I'll alternate between the five of them. I just love the finish. I love how they look on the skin. I just love that they wear for hours on end. Um, so if you guys want to see what those foundations are, then just keep on watching. Okay, lovelies. So like I said, there's five foundations I'm going to talk about today. Four of those foundations are drugstore. I think nowadays the drugstore makeup is amazing. You're getting really good makeup and you're not having to pay that hefty price tag either. Obviously, one of these foundations is high end. And I've got to admit, it's a beautiful, beautiful foundation. So let me start off with this one right here, which is from e.l.f. So this is like £7.50 from Superdrug. So really inexpensive. And you're getting 20 mils with this, which is 0.68 fluid ounces. So it's just under the standard. Normally a foundation is 30 mils, so you're getting 10 mils less with this. But it's £7.50. It's oil free and it has SPF 15 sunscreen in there. Now the sunscreen is good if you're out and about as well. Sometimes sunscreen in a foundation can, when you've been photographed, it maybe just doesn't look as well. But I love this foundation. I have to say on the skin, it just looks flawless, absolutely flawless. It's not a full blown matte. I would say it's semi. It just makes my skin look really healthy, really radiant. There is a fragrance to this. It's not an overpowering fragrance. It's more like a powdery um, sort of fragrance that's going on there. It applies amazingly well. Normally I need between the two and three drops with this and it works fine. And I use my Miracle Complexion sponge with this one and it just blends a dream. I don't find this foundation sinks into fine lines or emphasizes any textures on my face. It's just a beautiful, beautiful foundation. And for a while, this is the only foundation I was using on the daily. Um, I've went through bottles of this stuff. It's just a really, really great foundation. So definitely guys, if you haven't tried this one out yet, I think this is the Flawless um, foundation from e.l.f. I'll link everything in the description box below for you guys and obviously how much everything costs and where you can get it. I love this stuff. So the next one also is, and I'm, oh, I absolutely love this. And it's from Avon. And this is their Flawless Liquid Foundation. So this is what it looks like right here. Nine times out of ten, you can get these on specials. So for instance, six pounds or for me as a rep, I tend to get it from my first lookbook. So I'm really getting it like for 5 50 Technically speaking, this is £12 out of the brochure. So slightly more expensive than the e.l.f. But it's definitely well worth it. Again, this, like it said on the bottle, is just really flawless on the skin. It spreads out really nice. Again, two to three pumps is all I need with this. Um, this is a pump foundation just as the e.l.f. is. And with this one, you're getting the standard 30 mils with this. I just like how lightweight it feels. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin. And again, it doesn't emphasize anything. It, it's just a really, really nice foundation. Um, I powder after the majority of my foundations anyhow, especially just down my T-zone area because that's where I do find that I get some oils. But these two right here are just amazing. They look amazing on the skin. They photograph really nice. And like I said, this is very lightweight on the skin. It's not going to wear your face down and it lasts for hours on end. So again, this is well worth picking up and just trying out. As we have seen here on my channel, there are foundations from Avon that are just absolute garbage. They just don't work. They break and separate. But this is not one of them. This for me is a winner. Okay, the next one here is from The Ordinary and this is their serum foundation. Now I have both. I have the full coverage and I have the serum. And I love the full coverage because generally speaking, I am a full coverage girl. But the serum just is so lightweight and it gives that dewy finish. Your skin just, I'm wearing it today actually, your skin just looks really healthy, really radiant. And honestly, two pumps and that does the entire face. It just is really nice and the good thing about this foundation it is £5.95 from Beauty Bay. £5.95 for this foundation. Now in this one you are getting SPF 15 and this is 1.1p which has pink undertones. Now generally speaking I am neutral but when I ordered this from Beauty Bay they didn't have the one that I was looking for so I just went for the pink undertone and I've got to say it works fine for my skin. So if you're Sort of on my skin tone, I'm really, really pale. So most of my foundations are either porcelain or fair. 
um, then this would work for you as well if you can't get the neutral undertone then the pink undertone does work quite well for my skin it's very very liquidy very runny so just be careful when you're applying it to either your hand or if you're using a tool for your foundation again I use the sponge for this and I feel it just gives it better coverage and just applies it nicer I just love this stuff I have to say um it's definitely worth its £5.95. I would pay even more for this. And I do like that it does have a pump. You turn it and it opens it and you turn it and it locks it. So you know that if it's in your drawer, it's not going to spill out into anything. Really, really nice. So lightweight, so comfortable. Lasts the entire day. I just love this stuff. Love it. It has had rave reviews. And I would say out of the two, considering I love both, I would say I prefer the serum one. It just gives a more dewy finish and just very very lightweight just a really natural radiant glow to the skin okay so the last um drugstore foundation we've got is the maybelline superstay 24 hour now this obviously is not my shade because when i went in store to buy this i couldn't get my shade um so this is in let me see if i can't find what one this is 10 ivory so i would need something slightly lighter but I do have the Nip and Fab foundation lightener, which I just put a few drops in with this foundation and it, it works a dream. This is amazing. The coverage is outstanding. For drugstore, this is £9.99. So for drugstore price, this is an amazing foundation. It covers everything you want covered. And for it being so full coverage, it doesn't look cakey and it doesn't sink in or start to crack up and crease. Again, I tend to powder around about my eye area and T-zone area, but for me, this does amazingly well throughout the day. I haven't had any issues with breaking, like the foundation breaking up or looking too heavy and cakey. This foundation just looks flawless. It looks absolutely beautiful on the skin. It gives the skin a beautiful, flawless canvas that almost looks airbrushed. I love it. And it photographs really, really well. It's, so, so it's ideal. And if you're on a budget, guys, which a lot of the time I'm on a budget, um, this is a great foundation, a really, really great foundation. It was raved about here on YouTube. It was raved about all over social media. And rightly so, because this foundation is the bomb. Okay, my high-end foundation is probably no surprise to you. I've talked about it here on my channel. Is the YSL All Hours Foundation. <sighs> Let me tell you guys. This foundation is so, so good. The application is so smooth. Um, I would say slightly on the thicker side of consistency, more moussey, but it just is, it's just a so smooth formula. It just applies really, really well. It look, your face looks airbrushed, looks radiant, and this foundation lasts forever. All, th all throughout the day, I have I didn't have to touch up using this foundation. You know, no extra powders, no nothing. It holds everything in place. I didn't even find that my oils came through with this foundation. It's just a beautiful foundation all round. This is more on the pricey side. This is thirty three pounds fifty for this foundation. My husband and I, like, he got me this for my Christmas, and he was lucky enough that we got it slightly cheaper through some of the deals and sales that were going on. So we got this one for twenty nine pounds, I think it was twenty nine fifty. But generally speaking, if you go into Debenhams now, this is thirty three pounds fifty. But it's so so good. I definitely think I would have to buy this again once I run out. I tend to use this sparingly because it is so expensive. I probably don't use this on the daily like I would the other four but this is definitely one of my alternates like if I feel I want something more more flawless more radiant more just airbrush looking this is the foundation I'm going to go for it is simply beautiful the packaging also is divine it's really really sturdy glass it's frosted it has the all hours logo here and it has the YSL logo this comes with a pump also there is a slight smell. I would say it's more like flowers. It has that flowery smell, but again, not overpowering and too pungent. If you are not a fan of scents, you might not like some of these foundations because some of them do have that powdery, flowery scent. But for me, it's not too overpowering and too in-your-face pungent. Um, I really do like it. And you are getting, I think it is your, no, no, you're getting 25 mils with this one. So slightly less than 30 mils. So that is 0 0.84 fluid ounces. And this is in the shade porcelain because I need the lightest shade out there. 
So guys, that is my foundations, my holy grails. These foundations I cannot live without. I have to, I mean, the Avon and the Elf I've repurchased multiple times. And the serum foundation, I'm probably going to have to repurchase that quite soon because I'm... I'm getting there and this one this will be a repurchase also because I just absolutely love the finish of it all these foundations for me are not too heavy they are more on the lightweight this one is slightly heavier but you don't feel it on the skin and um, they all give that beautiful flawless finish I mean like I said this is the serum one I'm wearing today and it's absolutely stunning it is just beautiful foundation none of these foundations I've had any trouble with sinking into fine lines or smile lines they don't emphasize textures i really love also the tart reinforced to the sea another beautiful foundation very very lightweight beautiful coverage makes your face look flawless another good one but i'm kind of swaying now with this one is the kat von d locket i really really like that foundation but for me at the moment i'm going through just a lightweight spell i feel the kat von d is just that bit heavier it's just a bit too heavy at the moment for me Um, I'm obviously still using it because we paid a lot of money for that so I'm bloody using it <laughs> but I just feel it's maybe just a bit too heavy for me at the moment I, I prefer something that's a little more, more on the lightweight side and a little bit more on the flawless look side not that the Kat Von D isn't flawless looking foundation when it's on your face because it is but I just feel it's just a little bit too heavy for me now other ones I like are Primark ones. I mean, I really enjoyed the one that I reviewed not that long ago on my channel. I've got a few foundations coming up that I've be, be, uh, <laughs> I've got a few foundations that I have in my drawer that I need to test out for you guys. I've got the LA Girl Pro Conceal foundation that I need to try out, which I'm I'm super excited about. Um, I've got a Revlon one as well that I need to test out. So those those videos will all be coming up for you guys soon. But that is it for today. So we have my four drugstore and my one high end. And um, we've got the e.l.f. Um, Flawless Foundation, which is £7.50. We have the Avon Flawless Liquid Foundation, which is at its full price, £12. We have the Maybelline 24 Hour Stay, which is £9.99. And then we have the Ordinary Serum Foundation, which is £5.95. And then we have the YSL All Hours, which is £33.50. So guys, if you have liked this video, you liked the foundations that I have here, or if any of you have used these foundations and liked them, let me know. If you don't like them, still let me know. I'm all about finding out. Um, so guys, if you do like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, it'd be amazing if you can hit that button. And remember, and hit that bell also as it'll notify you every time I upload, which is Wednesdays, Fridays and Sundays. So guys, until the next video, you take care, be safe, have a great day or night, and we shall see you in the next video. Bye.